Hey there! Welcome to another tutorial. I'm Dave and today I'm going to show you how to install GIMP on Windows 10. GIMP, it is an open source software that you can use totally free and it is a great alternative for Adobe Photoshop. The application itself has a lot of tools and features that are pretty neat and I think it's totally worth it to use as an alternative. So let's get to it. Okay, the first thing you want to do is to open your web browser. In this case, I'm going to open Google Chrome. In there, you have to go to this website. Don't worry, it will be in the video description. And you just have to do a copy and paste. Um, we're going to download the Microsoft version right here. And we have two options. The first one is to download via torrent that if you have any doubts, you can just ask me or uh, put some comments and I will guide you which one is the best torrent software you can use. And the second option is to download the application directly. We are going to do that one. It is not a super heavy application, so it, it wouldn't take so much to download. I'll be back when it's done. Now that the exe file is ready, we can start the installation. Just do a double click right there. And it will open this option right there. If you're the only user for your computer, you can just click this option right there. The language, we have a lot of options right there, but in this case, going to be English, okay? In here, you can uh, do the customize button right there if you want to choose the place where you want to install the, the program. In this case, I'm going to choose another location, another drive right there. Okay. And next. Yeah. Um, in there, yeah. You, have, you want to do the full installation. Just click next. And it's totally optional if you want to create a desktop icon. Just check that option and click next. And install. Okay, it should take a couple of minutes. I'll be back when it's done. All right, the installation is all done. You can just click finish. And in this case, I'm going to see the application right there. I'm going to open it. It should take a couple of minutes to load all the components. Right there. As you can see, the environment is similar to Photoshop. It's not the same, but it does have a lot of features, layers, colors. A lot of tools, for example, some distortion right there of the image to give some effect. And that's pretty much it. If you want to learn more about the software, then you can click right here in the help menu then GIMP online and user manual website. In there, you can choose your favorite language. And you will have all the table of contents with all the features and tools you can use. As you can see, it's pretty extensive and it's a pretty cool software. And that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please stay safe, stay at home. And don't forget to click that like button if you like the video and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.